The difference here at New York Comic Con for us is the ability to interact with fans and see their response when they see our products. The ability to get that direct feedback from them for us has been invaluable. It's a moment unto itself. You've got everyone from the East Coast is here at one place, one time. We always talk about the power of fandom but it's really the time when Marvel gets to go and directly talk to those fans, get them to see products, get them to activate in an integrated way. And it really is our chance to go and say thank you to our fans in a really fun and engaging way. What really sets this apart from other events is just the scale and the audience. The audience is exactly who we want to be showing this stuff to. A lot of other brands are kind of focused on pushing their brand name versus an immersive experience for the con goer that relates to the property. People are here for this comic experience. We're not here specifically for heroes and villains. They're here to have an experience with the comics. It's a tricky thing standing out here. You know, everybody comes out and throws their spectacle up. We focus on our product first, not as much about the dramatics of the booth. The way we plan to stand out is really by our unique product design that has not been out there before. We like to kind of find a theme that we know kind of will stand out. We like to do little activations here and there, get a little buzz going, a little noise. Just focus so deeply on the fans. It's what they want. It's what our partners can provide. What's the unique experience that is here in the booth at New York and nowhere else? The way I lay out the booth is I try to give a focal point at the front, which is our big stage, and then really think about all the interactive experiences that go around it, from costume displays, interactive moments that are showcasing upcoming projects, as well as key partnerships for us. The type of fans that are coming to this event are exactly who we're looking for to expose our brand to more and more. I think if we can increase a &A's brand awareness among this audience who's into this culture and into Japan, that's gonna be a huge success for us. Fireworld has a big direct-to-consumer engagement model. It's really important that we understand what that fan base wants. The business objective is to introduce people to some of the new products. Personally, as, as fans ourselves, getting that feedback is phenomenal. So selling shirts, great but it's really just kind of activating and engaging with consumers. Success at New York Comic Con usually really just comes back down to how much interaction we've had with the fans and how much goodwill we've generated. That's the biggest thing is like that connection with your customer and your fan base. And that's way more important than, you know, actually selling product because if we can make that connection, then we have somebody for life. And that's a huge focus for our brand in general. I think if we help build fans that are both young and old, or reconnect with our fans who have been with us for decades, and hopefully build some new Marvel fans along the way. That's that's part of the goal. We just ultimately want to make this feel like a big moment, not just for the folks here in the booth, but across the entire Marvel universe. So for us, we look at sentiment, we look at overall partner satisfaction, and at the end of the day, we want to feel like we're all part of something that was truly unique to the four days that we have here in New York.